But most likely, if she's, I've, I've, the speaker has approved my amendment bill, but if she's also working on the subject that I'm reading, we can look at it and we can always um, incorporate some of the views and even as it comes to, to, to the house. So it's just a matter of, uh, you know, making safe walking and cycling a reality in Kenya. We all know that majority of Kenyans are actually pedestrians and a good number of Kenyans are now going to uh, moving towards cycling as their main mode of transport uh, but unfortunately the traffic act as it is does not protect uh, pedestrians and cyclists so we've been left vulnerable on the roads. I'm happy to inform Kenyans that the bill has been approved by the Speaker of the National Assembly and is undergoing drafting and review process before consultation and introduction of the House. It shall mainly focus on amending the Kenya Roads Act to hasten the pri and prioritize non-motorized transport systems through the exploration of holistic national legislation. Someone's husband, someone's wife. When you see us on the road, uh, do not just see us as nobodies, nothing. Just respect us, uh, share the road. Just take one second, just move and give us one second. For walking, for safe walking and cycling. As you've heard, we do have some developments uh, in Nairobi and other cities where we have some NMT coming up, but the NMT is not up to standard. You find it ends somewhere. So you wonder where should these children, where should be directed to road contractors to plant trees on both sides of the road, complete with sidewalks and cyclists laying in urban settings. Some are not safe. Incomplete. All the cycling and pedestrian lanes which are altered and they end abruptly or worse still defected by illegal structures or buildings what many refer to as well the other thing is when you don't give us the motivation to share the room, you chase us most of us from this point. so like, like uh, enabling this thing. Yeah. Huh?